Hi, this is Mike J. Welcome back to the channel. Well, will the Supra be top or will the Supra be bottom? Anyways, this Monday I will be having a Champion 4 post auto lift installed in my home so that the Corvette and the Supra can be stacked top or bottom so that I can put the Mustang on the other side. I want all three cars in the garage. Okay, so what is required to have a four post uh, lift in your garage? Well, it all depends what you're putting up there and how much clearance you need. But I will say that you will need at least nine feet ceilings. Like I said, it depends on what you're putting in your garage. Nevertheless, I do have a nine and a half foot ceiling and I have a eight foot entrance garage door. When I had the house built, I had an extra foot added to the garage for clearance. So even if you didn't do that, this still would be a nine and a half foot ceiling and throughout the house, it's nine feet. But anyways, I've decided that I'm going to be putting the lift on the right side of the garage due to the fact that I don't want to block my service entrance door and I don't want to have the water heater being in the way. So, what is required? Well, first of all, if you do have a seven foot garage entrance, it will work, but more than likely you will probably have your tracks need to be re reworked and raised a foot for clearance. Now, I don't have that problem here because my tracks run parallel with the width of the entrance of the garage. So therefore, that should save yourself about three, four hundred dollars to not have to redo the tracks. But anyways, once this uh, lift is installed, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to have them pretty much put the post all the way to where that tan carpet is. So therefore, it gives you all this extra space right here where you can pull the car all the way up forward where the roof will not even be near the tracks for clearance. We'll decide and see the measurements when they're actually out here. But anyways, the Supra sits exactly uh, uh, 50.9 inches and the Corvette sits 48.8 inches. What that equates to is roughly around almost eight and a half feet. So therefore, my foot or my uh, garage door is eight feet. So therefore, if you see above that, Okay, you've got probably another foot and a half. So therefore, once this is all in, keep in mind that, you know, the track for the lift is probably another four inches. So it's gonna be close to nine feet by the time you add everything all together. So that leaves me pretty much with half a feet, you know, six inches, probably a little less to clear the roof without hitting the top of the car. So we're just gonna have to see how all this goes. The uh, installers have the length of my garage, 21 feet, nine and a half foot ceilings. So this should all work for my application. But anyways, uh, we're just gonna see how all this uh, plays out. When they do the install on Monday, I'm gonna try to get some videos and show you guys how they put a four post lift in. But anyways, this home builder have very generous garages 21 feet in depth and nine and a half feet high and this should all work and I'm stoked because when you have a lift there's a lot of things you can do clean the bottom of your car you know do your own oil changes but just to give you a perspective I've got all that stuff sitting right there off to one side so they can put the lift in and I still have all that room right there and there's even some room in the back of the car where the garage door is. But look at all this space. The Supra is relatively a short car and I've got all this space to work with. So being that it's gonna be on this side, okay, yes, it will be tight getting into the door, into my house. Nevertheless, if I need to move, I use the front door because that's how I moved in, is used in the front door. But there we have it. It will be a champion auto four-post lift. It's, it costs about 
and it's about $100 to have it installed. So by the time tax and everything, it works out to be about $3,500. So these auto lifts are very obtainable. It does not need to be um, anchored, drilled into the concrete because I'm not lifting maximum capacity and the maximum capacity is 8,000 pounds, which I will never exceed. But anyways, uh, the, the slabs here are all post tension, so you can't drill into it anyways. So it should work. Most lifts are not bolted to the ground because you're not lifting maximum capacity. But Monday, when these cars are stacked, we'll find out how it all gonna play out. But anyways, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, comment, tap the notification bell for future videos, and I will see you in the next one. Another thing is my garage door opener. It's very flat, you know, as you can see, no slopiness to it. So therefore, everything should clear perfectly. Thanks for watching. Take care.